What's good y'all? It's Jameer Armstrong. Welcome back to another video. Hey, today I'm going to teach you guys on how to pass the ASVAB in 2023. There are certain requirements that you need to meet to to shoot for a certain rate in the Navy. So basically, I'm just going to give you guys like certain definitions and just basically certain strategies that I use to get a passing grade on the ASVAB. I had gotten an 83 when I took the ASVAB the final time at MEPS. When I first did it, when I did the PICAT, I got like... It was a horrible score. I got like a 33. Anyways, let's get right into this. So what is the ASVAB? The ASVAB is the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery, right? It's basically like a, a baseline test on where you kind of fit in in the Navy or wherever branch you decide to join in because this is not only exclusive to the Navy, this is military-wide. This is the military-wide exam, right? When you first walk into the recruiter's office and you're, you're going through all the paperwork, they're gonna give you this PICAT. So the PICAT is like an abridged version of the ASVAB and it just has like the main points, like the main, like, the main topics that are going to be shown on the official exam so like mathematical skills arithmetic reasoning uh paragraph comprehension so stuff like that that's that's actually going to be on the real asvab it's going to be shown throughout the PICAT. it's going to give you a glimpse on what to expect when you take the official test it's, it's going to be a 72 hour window right prior to taking the test you're still thinking like all right should i take the test am, am i gonna be ready for this you know what i'm saying so you got 72 hour, two hours to let that cook in your brain but then once you once you press start once you like all right i'm i am officially ready to take this PICAT. you are gonna have 24 hours to take that exam during that exam you are not allowed to use any calculators you're not allowed to use any outside outside resources like uh, Quizlet or um, any books, any textbooks. So that's that's not going to be permitted because it's trying to it's trying to prepare you for once you take the real ASVAB test. You're not going to have those resources. The only thing that's going to be in front of you is a computer and a keyboard and a proctor. That's it. Um, I will I will get in I will get into the groove of not using those, not relying and using those resources as a crutch. Try to get used to just taking a test with a screen in front of you and just just using whatever you can. And I think you're also going to have like scratch paper, scratch paper and a pencil. Um, I think that I mean that is permitted when you take the ASVAB scratch paper and a pencil. But other than that, that that's basically it. You're gonna be graded in at least like 10, 10, 9 or ten different categories, right? Word knowledge, arithmetic reasoning, paragraph comprehension, mathematical knowledge, electronics information, auto information, shop information, mechanical comprehension, assembling objects, and general science. So general science is basically gonna consist of like high school. You know, a lot of the stuff is gonna like relay back to high school. General science is gonna consist of like biology, chemistry, physics, that type of stuff. Stuff, like velocity inertia you know just how, how things work how things move and the word knowledge is gonna basically test how 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 deep is your vocabulary you know what I'm saying like it's gonna throw in some words that you know that you understand like you read in a couple books and then uh, it's gonna hit you with like some crazy stuff like it's obviously gonna be impossible to know every the, def the definition to every single word so what I would just use like in this scenario there was words that I didn't know so I would just use like process of elimination. That's process of elimination is gonna be your best friend once you take the ASVAB test. There's gonna be context clues in the text that are gonna give you like little giveaways that you're probably gonna like, okay, so if this means this, then obviously that's gonna be the answer. You guys wanna use context clues and process of elimination. Those two are gonna be your best friend. Also, context clues, use it when you're when you when you're reading those long paragraphs, those long stories, it's gonna be like a chunk of text. You're gonna have to read all this text and you're gonna have to interpret the exact meaning of that piece of text. We're gonna give you a couple answers and we want you to choose the best definition of what this chunk of text means if you have a certain idea of what that piece of text means look at the answers and if something seems a little bit off then most likely it's off right because once you start once you start looking at the answers and you start doubting yourself that that's gonna be a cause of concern that's gonna cause you to be like when you take the test you start getting nervous you start your mind starts drifting off everywhere um, you start doubting yourself take a breath breathe understand what the question is trying to ask you and just because there's gonna be some wording in there that's gonna throw you off so just like just be very meticulous and, and, and just look at each word because the wording is very important right mathematical yeah mathematical knowledge so arithmetic reasoning is like word problem like math math word problems that are just gonna just trip you up and the mathematical knowledge is like like equations like um like quadratic formula uh fractions exponents uh volume area surface area things of that nature Ooh, auto information i had a i had a I had a tough one with this one. Like I, I was not doing good with auto information. I love cars, but I don't know about cars. You know what I'm saying? Like you could love something, but you're not really too, uh, you're not really too uh, in informed on a certain topic. Like, like you could be a huge Star Wars fan, but you, 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 you just don't know the certain character. You don't know how a lightsaber works. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I didn't know like the functions inside of a car. Like certain things that would. Um, 
Shit, I still don't know about it. <laughs> so mechanical comprehension is basically on how like the principles of like how pulleys work and how gears move and how gears function. So if a gear is moving this way, what is the, where is the other, how's the other gear gonna move? You know what I'm saying? If a gear is moving clockwise, what's the other gear gonna move? Most likely counterclockwise, cl clockwise, right? So you gotta pinpoint certain things. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I didn't really focus on this one too much. I kind of skimmed over all the like the mechanical stuff, but I mean, it's kind of funny given what my rate is. But like, if you want to be like an ET, if you want to get into like the electronic field, electronics information, that is basically gonna consist of like like power adapters, like ACs, like generators, LEDs, lamps. It's gonna it's gonna basically ask you questions relating to that type of stuff. That's how your ASVAB is gonna be graded given all those topics. That's basically uh, yes, your line score. That's gonna be your line score. That's gonna be the first apparent thing that you're gonna see once they give you the paper, once they give you that that paper. So for example, like when I was first signing up into the Navy, I wanted to be an MC, right? And so I really wasn't <laughs> I really wasn't aiming that high, but uh, given that rate is not really handed off that handed out that often i didn't know this until i actually got to meps but like taking the test i had mc in my mind so like mc required verbal expression so ve is verbal expression so verbal expression you needed to get a 55 or higher i had gotten a 56 the prerequisite is 55 so if you don't got that if you get under a 55 it doesn't matter if you get verbal expression and arithmetic reasoning to equal 115 if you don't if you're if you hit under 55 for verbal expression you're not getting that rate you're simply not getting that rate now it's gonna be different for like uh, for my man right because you can get verbal expression arithmetic reasoning mathematical knowledge and uh, mathematical comprehension or mechanical comprehension and that all has to equal 210 or so instead of instead of that uh, cumulative group of um, testing categories equal that specific amount, you can either get verbal expression plus arithmetic reasoning plus mathematical knowledge in auto shop, and that has to equal 216. So that's like an alternative, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how basically how that all plays out in the grading process. That's how your line scores affect which rates you will be eligible for. Now this is not gonna be the end all be all, right? So let's say like you didn't get the scores you wanted when you took it in high school, because let's say you didn't take it seriously when you took it in high school, I understand, it happens. So like when you were taking it in high school, you're just trying to you know get out of class free, and you really, you really wasn't really pressed on the ASVAB, like bro, like I'm not going to join the military. And then you realize that you got like a 20 on the ASVAB, like oh shit i want to get like a, an intel rate you know what i'm saying but instead i only qualified for these ones right? so i need because uh, the intel rate might require a certain a certain grade that you didn't get when you took it in high school so you're like all right cool like, let's take it again all right so the little trace back to it okay right, take the pie cat you gonna take the pie cat it's gonna be like a little warm up depending on how however good or, or, or however your score uh, uh varied on that test uh, your home and my recruiter gave me like a book called Add That for Dummies. Transition to resources, right? The resources that I would suggest you guys would use when before prior to taking the ASVAB, right? I would highly suggest taking using flashcards. So flashcards, either paper flashcards, Quizlet. I would highly suggest you guys use those use those to your advantage and just at least study upon them like an hour a day an hour a day or an hour every other day whenever you have the time to study because i mean I don't, honestly i made that a priority like i made that a priority because i knew that i, I needed to at least shoot for a high uh, uh, a high graded rate right i wanted to i wanted to maximize my opportunities as much as possible so i had to get a good grade that's that's just my mentality going in so i made sure i made some flashcards. i had to use quizlet um i had also used um so my recruiter was kind enough to, usually you have to buy, you have to buy like the ASVAB for dummies on like Amazon or just, or usually just get a PDF. But like my recruiter was kind enough to actually give me an ASVAB for dummy PDF. And I had to use that to my advantage. And it gave me a glimpse on what to actually expect to, prior to taking the, the real ASVAB. So it had all like all the definitions, things that you can expect, all the knowledge, all the like like review concepts that, that are probably expressed in high school, but you didn't really pay attention in high school or you probably forgot, which also happens, right? Who's gonna who's gonna remember all that in high school? Who's gonna remember all that information? Nobody, right? So it's gonna go over a certain concept that you probably went through in high school. And it's gonna be it's, it's gonna run it's gonna run through it a little bit in the book, and it's gonna like it's gonna basically cover what you need to take what you need to know prior to taking the ASVAB. So you have that. Um, also, I also downloaded prior to joining ASVAB practice test. Right now, it's, where, where where are we at right now? 2023. Like this little bit. So it's like a little trail, and it it, it increasingly gets more difficult depending on what part that you're on. So it's like kind of like 
it's kind of like uh, like Duolingo. You know, you guys, you guys know Duolingo. So like when you guys like take like Spanish lessons and then you complete the first part and then it gets progressively more harder. It's kind of like that. And then like um, at the end, there's like a comprehensive test depending on uh, that category. So like if you're practicing like, for example, arithmetic reasoning and you're going through all the parts and you finally finish part 12 and then it's finally time to take the official like arithmetic reasoning exam that's going to prepare you for the ASVAB so I would highly suggest that and and also a cool thing about this app it goes through like um, questions that depend like it will give you questions about varying on the degree of difficulty so like it'll throw you throw you some weak questions it'll throw you some medium questions and then it'll throw you some like hard difficulty questions like strong questions so and then after you kind of touch all touch bases on all the different categories it will finally uh, bring you to like practice test one so like practice ASVAB one and it's gonna have uh, from what I'm seeing 145 questions right and look uh, you can see like you're allowed to make mistakes on this exam like you're allowed to miss a couple of questions I mean you don't want to obviously but you you're, you're like you have a you have a little bit of room to make some mistakes on this exam as that practice test um, quizlet flashcards as that for dummies I took at least at least an hour and a half to two hours every single day just practicing the ASVAB because I realized how important this was for me so man I'm just so thankful to have you guys on my channel and you guys tuning in and just really showing you guys love and support on each and one of my videos big thumbs up to you guys and like if you guys are joining the military if you guys are already enlisted and you're just waiting if you're just waiting to just go and ship out like I wish you guys the best of luck you know this is a long journey it's a hard journey but it's going to be worth it and I'm just glad you guys are gonna be with me every step of the way and I'm gonna be with you guys every step of the way and you know uh, it's gonna be fun all right and as always stay classy